Here we go, 10th of December, starting to get excited, but it's not for Christmas. It is my 40th birthday tomorrow, 11th of December. Uh, I know I look 20, thank you very much. And I'm going to be doing something pretty special. It's got to involve Japanese whiskey. I have no idea what it will be just yet, but I'm sure I will share it with you guys. But today we're 10th of December and we're trying something from a brand that we've already had from the White Oak Distillery. I think we had one of the blue labels. This is the white, uh, sorry, this is the Toji, which is a, a done by the Grand Saki Master after the name Toji, okay? So, interesting uh, differences between the Saki and whiskey distillers. They do have different systems in place. Obviously, they use different ingredients, but they also have different kind of methods and beliefs on how they do things. So, this will be an interesting one to see, and maybe we need to do a side-by-side on the actual uh, other one that we had before as well. Now, going back to this, this is a 40%. If you haven't seen the original or the first video, I'll link it up here for you. So you can go back onto a little bit of history on it. And again, if you are interested in the history of the distillery, go and check out YYY's or Triple Y's video on the actual distillery. He has about a 10 minute video, goes in depth, and he's very informative on a lot of other distilleries as well. Interesting. I'm just going to grab the booklet on this one because I was going to say something confectionery, but then I just seen lemongrass and I'm thinking it's, I know that doesn't go together, but the lemongrass makes more sense. Oh, eight dried apricots, bigger than anyone I've ever had before. That is really beautiful on the nose. That actually tastes like, hold on a second. A few moments later. I know exactly what it tastes like. I don't know if you can see that. Apricot delights. I literally just got these from the shops today. Uh, I love these things and that is giving this all over the nose and on the palate. Now, is that a good thing? Yeah, yeah, because they're, they're fucking awesome. Um, the finish though is a little bit, probably medium. They're saying medium length here, slightly citrusy, sweet, and with dried stone fruits. I'm not getting, well, okay, getting apricot because that's a stone fruit, but I'm not getting really anything else from it. I am getting that heavy of that apricot, the, the sugary apricot, not just dried apricots, but the apricot delight, which is definitely one of my favorite snacks. Uh, that's a pretty cool whiskey. It's interesting. And I would drink that again. So, um, yeah, I'll have that one in my collection as well. So far, I'm pretty happy with everything. Only a couple of disappointments. Um, obviously, we know that the, the lighter whiskies are going to be Japanese. If we really want bold whiskies, we probably need to step to that single malt um, advent calendar. But this is proving to be pretty good. And again, especially in this beautiful heat, I'm gonna go outside and I've got something for you tomorrow.